So what exactly is the best arrow size to use in Roblox Funky Friday? As you all know, the game just recently updated as of April 16th, and they've added a new option in the game settings that allows you to change the sizes of the arrows between 0.75 and 1.35, and this setting can actually be very beneficial to you guys. 0.75 and 0.135 is a bit of a range though, so I'll dive deeper into this new setting update and give my thoughts on a good error size for you guys to use. But before we start, if you guys are new to the channel and find this video very helpful, make sure you guys smack that like. Don't forget to also subscribe as well for more tips and tricks videos for Funky Friday. Now that's out of the way, let's dive right into it. So let's start with the basics. If you have no idea on how to change your arrow size in the game, all you have to do is go to the top left portion of the game to the pink gear cog icon and scroll down to the arrow size section. The default should be at one that is the normal size that we are all accustomed to. Don't get me wrong, it's a really good starting size, but for some of you guys who have visual problems like me, I wear glasses for example, or if you just want to get better at the game and see the arrows a lot more clearer. It's going to be a huge game changer to change the error size to between 1.15 or 1.25 and here is why I chose this range over here. Since the arrows are going to be a lot bigger when you increase the arrow size, it's obviously going to be a lot more easier to see which inputs they are and your brain is going to receive those signals a lot more quicker and efficiently than if the arrows were smaller. Your eyes are going to see the giant arrows coming down the screen and they're going to require less time to actually focus on them due to the sheer area that they cover on the screen. If you had your arrow size set to 0.75 for example, it's going to take a tad bit longer to focus into the screen to realize which notes you're planning to hit next and that could usually cost you a couple misses. Most people are going to prefer having bigger arrows than smaller ones but there are going to be people who, who play like Robeats for example, they would probably prefer playing with smaller arrow sizes. That is perfectly okay. Those types of players are used to that and they can afford to play at those sizes but for the conventional new to rhythm games type of player who are new to Funky Friday, I would prefer having larger arrow sizes that's going to help you out quite a bit. I am a bit skeptical about maxing out the arrow size to 1.35 though because of course they're going to be bigger than 1.25 but the problem is the bigger the arrows the closer they may appear on the game screen for you and for certain songs like Ballistic or Tiger Practice especially when you got those crazy janks or like those sections where you got like triple note inputs at a time. In those kind of songs, it can be a bit too cluttered with a huge arrow size and it might make things a little bit harder for you, so that's why I opted for the 1.15 or the 1.25 arrow size range instead. So what do you guys think? What arrow sizes do you guys use? Let me know in the comment section down below and you guys can compare each between each other as well. If you guys found this video helpful, please smack that like and do consider subscribing for more update and tip videos for Funky Friday as well. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody.